Welcome back you with FBC Sports. It's time to do battle. And the four remaining teams in the Digicel Cup semi-finals do not want to make it their last match in the competition. Shelvin Chand spoke to the voice of rugby, Graham Eden. With all their mates, how to come so long. Talevu and Netasiri have had an extra week to train. Unlike last week, Eden believes the extra week may work in the favour of Talevu. I think it's going to be a different story this weekend. Talevu will learn by their mistakes of slow start and having to play catch-up rugby. They've got, I'm sure, pretty well the same team. I doubt that there would be much change. And I'm looking forward to thinking that they will use their backs much more than ever they've done. Despite a loss in the round robin, Nandronga are still undisputed rugby champions of Fiji. And Suva may find the going tough at Lawanga Park. I think it's always worth 10 points to Nandronga, at least 10 points when they play at home. And despite the effort put in by Suva and uh, excellent preparation that I understand they've been having, I still think that there'll be an uphill battle to beat Nandronga at home. Only the weather can hinder the two semi-finals. Let's hope the weather stays fine so that it can in fact be ideal for the rugby. We put up with lousy weather last weekend. We want better grounds this weekend and I'm sure we're going to have it with the drying out that there must be. Following this drying out then, even Thakambao Park will be much improved. The favourites seem to be the two teams that finished first and second, Talevu and Nandranga. But in the game of rugby, anything can happen. Even the underdogs can rise. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. Height has always been a problem with our national netball squad. But thanks to the secondary schools tournament, which ended today, the national selectors have found a solution. Akusita Tale with more. Finally, some good news for secondary school netters. They are now part of the wider preparation group for the 2015 World Cup. Height has been an issue for the national teams in recent time, but they seem to have found a solution to their woes. I'm really impressed. I mean, I'm amazed by the level of talent and potential that I've seen over the past two days, especially with height. You know, I'm amazed with height, and this is something that's part of the plan. That you know, when I go back, in, for sure, definitely uh, let Netball Fiji know about reaching out to these top players. Netball Fiji also stresses that the key to playing top-class netball and have top-class players is to educate coaches and players. It's important that we educate the coaches and the teachers um, in the proper way of coaching, in the proper way of teaching a particular skill. Um, I believe once we target the teachers, they're the ones that they are out there doing the work for us. Two days of netball action has brought the attention of national selectors. Who knows? Maybe today you're seeing them in school bibs. Come the next netball championship, they'll be donning the national colors. Yesterday, we asked what is being done to keep tabs on our unpolished diamonds. Today, there is some indication that these future stars will be kept in the system. We just hope that this takes shape soon, because the dedication and sacrifices put in by these young players definitely needs a hefty reward. Akusita Tale, FBC Sports. Meanwhile, Suva Grammar School won the under-19 grade, beating Ratu Sukuna 17-14. The under-17 grade was won by Vunisea, while in the under-15, the winners were Natambua. The Spanish La Liga football season starts this weekend, but one team is already fighting to survive, even before kicking the ball. Having qualified for the Champions League for the first time, it was all smiles at Malaga Football Club at the end of last season. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have been invested by Qatari owner Sheikh Abdullah Al Thani and they even baked him a cake. How times have changed. You couldn't get a smile around here now without a set of comedy glasses. Star players have been sold off like Spanish international Santi Cazola to Arsenal. Wages are not being paid. Coach Manuel Pellegrini is not happy but not leaving yet. I will stay with Malaga at this difficult moment. Things have been done quite late. Any restructuring should have been done months ago. The last thing to take me away from Malaga would be the economic situation. Those kind of problems can be solved in five minutes. What distances me from the club is the lack of fulfillment of the players' rights. This is unacceptable. 
pay my players or I'll leave. That seems to be the gist of it. It's unclear if Pellegrini himself is one of those waiting for this month's pay slip. Another coach to come in now. A change this late is not good for Malaga. I want Pellegrini to stay. Malaga has good players now, and we had good players a year and a half ago, with or without Pellegrini. Malaga was teetering on the edge of relegation from La Liga two seasons ago. Qatari money radically transformed the Andalusian club, but has Sheikh Abdullah Al Thani decided to turn off the financial tap and pull the plug on his Spanish football investment? That's it for sports tonight.